Hello everybody! So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a piece of software called Z-Install. Uh, what this program is, is it allows you to migrate data from one computer to another. Now, I've, I've done this before, you see it with Easy US, Easis, Easy US I call it, so I don't upset anybody. But um, that software does not transfer licenses over, and it doesn't transfer certain files that you need. And what happens is you try to launch a program on a new computer and it says it's missing files and stuff like that. So I bought the software, I have the program, but I did burn it to a disk just in case my computer goes down. And this is the $169 version. This is the Pro software. It allows you to migrate to external SSD, solid state device, uh, solid state hard drives. It allows you to replicate without having to use the internet in case your network goes out. And it also allows you to do different things. Now there is a $119 version, but that is very, very simple and you have to use your network to transfer data. Now. I bought the more expensive one because I'm going to be helping my family fix their computers and if something goes wrong, I'm going to need the software to do that, so I might as well just buy it now. Now back to the $119 version, the $119 version of the software uh, will do it. It's very, very easy. You put it on there and it's just from your network from one computer to another. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to install this on both of your computers. Your, your uh, source and destination. Now the reason why, as I stated, I burnt it with this just in case the computer would go down. So I'm going to go into here. I'm just going to copy it directly to the desktop. Now, as I stated, I got the pro version of this software. So it copy. So, and what I like to do is set it up on the source first, and then I'll go to the destination. The destination will be my daily use computer because I can't use testing computer number one since it's not um, new enough. So now I enter my serial and it'll activate it. Oops.
Oh, that's it. Sweet. So now we're doing the online activation. Not sure if it's showing up on camera or not. So it's going to be loading Z install on this computer. So you have to follow the license agreement. That's the only way to do it. All right, so you click accept. Now. Here's what I can do. I can move between two machines, transfer from one machine to another machine over the network. Now what I want to do is I don't want to overwrite my hard drive in there. because I still I have a lot of data on there and all that and I don't want to do that so in order for me to do this I just want to move certain files so what I'm gonna to have to figure out is how am I going to do this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on my testing station computer number one and what I'll do is I'll move everything that's on there over to here uh, for some reason I could get Office installed, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install uh, XP on there, and what I'll do is I'll get it, as soon as I get Windows XP installed, I'll install this, and then I'll migrate whatever I have on there to this computer. So stay tuned. Alright, so I finally got Windows XP Home on here. I tried to use Pro, but I forget that this computer can't handle very much. So I got Home on here, and unfortunately Microsoft Office 2013 does not work. So I installed Microsoft Office 2003, as you can see right here. It's all here. And I am going to do a data migration from this computer here to my testing station number two computer which is here. Now before I do that I'm going to have to install the migration software on this one. So I already have the disk in the drive and I'm just going to now install it. Oops, I forgot what operating system I was on. There we go. If you ever double click on it and it gives you a file, right click and select open, you go where you want to go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do that over here. I just like to copy it. Because when you have to read a disk, it will take a little longer, so I just like to do it directly from the desktop. And plus, if you're doing multiple computers, you want to use, you want to copy it to the desktop so that way you can run multiple instances after you're done copying it and you won't need the disk. Uh, the only time you would want to do that is in an office environment or if you're working on several different computers at once. Okay, so it's copied. I'm going to pull the disk out of the drive here. There we go.
Now I was going to originally, I just wanted to transfer a couple files, but this is true data migration software. It's from one computer to another and I didn't want to overwrite my daily use computer because I use that to go on the internet and find jobs etc. So anyway, uh, I got that down. So now I'm going to install it and we're going to see how it works on Windows XP here. Now I do want to try with this from a Windows 2000 to a Windows 10 machine. I will try that at some point. So now I enter the key. So I'm now activating it. And now it's loading it. And again, you have to agree with the user agreement. And I choose to accept it, otherwise I won't be able to do anything. So now, I could do this over the network, which I'm going to do. I could move it from an old hard drive to an external and back. Now, The over the network is really, really nice, but if your network is down, you use it the other way. From a machine to a co container, meaning like a storage server, backup machine, and I could transfer from a backup or a VM container, which means I could take a virtual machine and put it to real hardware if I wanted to. That'll be something to try. Uh, or you could do it from Windows old folder to restore. But I'm going to do this over the network here. So I'm going to click next. This is a source computer. All right, so we're going to do I have it closed on the target machine right now. So in order for me to migrate it, I am going to have to go to this machine here and we're going to have to run it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? So I'll just reinstall it. Let's see what this is doing. Right, it's still looking for the target machine because since Z install is not running on the target machine, it's going where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, there we go. So it's running now. So now, click that. This is the source computer. So when I click next, this, this uh, the destination target computer, excuse me, the source computer is going to transfer all its data to this computer. So here we go.
since there's only two computers running this, it should do this. So it's searching, so I'm going to go and it's connected. I can feel the source machine going crazy. See, there we go. So now I have the ability to click next. So when I click next, it's going to in install, basically install the software. So we're going to click next. So when we go back here, it still says that, which is good. So now I have full migration, meaning that it's going to transfer all my settings, all my data, and even the registry files to the programs, which another program does not do. So I'm going to click go, and it's going to copy the data. So now, if I go back to computer number one, we're done with this. So I'm going to go back to computer number four, number two, excuse me. The selection on the KVM switch is number four.
It's going to save the state just in case it fails. All the migration software does this. Now some of the stuff, like the Windows default programs, like the imaging software, paint, and all that, won't be copied, but it'll copy the stuff I installed or you installed, depending if you're using the software.
Now I should say most migration software I have used did not transfer paint over. Now, if this computer was, the source computer was full of data, everything that I need, basically my whole life, this would take anywhere from two to three hours to complete. Now, if you did it to an external hard drive, you, your external hard drive would be the, the target computer and your, the computer itself would be the source computer. Now, if you're restoring it, your hard drive, the external hard drive becomes the source and the computer becomes the destination. So once this is done, I'm going to open up Office just to show that it opens up on the source computer. Then I'm going to open it up on the destination. Now, things will go haywire and all that, nothing's perfect. But if it opens up on the source computer, the destination computer, the software is good to go. Top of the mouse will wake it right back up. And if you look, it's going, the check marks are 0.0.1, 0 0.0.2, 0 0.0.3, 0.0.4. Dot one dot four zero dot one dot five zero dot one dot six. The reason there are three numbers here is because most of the time you're going to be copying a full computer over to a new one. Now in this case, I'm just taking a piece of software and copying it.
Okay, so now the target computer is now restarting, as you can see, and when it boots back up, everything should be there. So while that is still loading, it's still saying it's connected, which means that on the source computer, this program is not done yet. Hopefully, everything will be done soon.
as you can see it's 100% complete so hopefully it'll be done in a couple seconds and here we go let me see if this still says connected still connected. All right. Now, as you can see, I do not have the wallpaper anymore. Uh, that's because it transferred the default one over to this one. So, if I go here, all apps I have Microsoft Office that's all here but before I launch it on here I'm going to So I'm going to disconnect that. I'll open up Word. Okay, so Word opens up on here. So if I go down here, go to Word, it opens up. No problem. So this software does what it's supposed to do. Because normally I would get error messages and stuff like that. So anyway, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.